Alright guys, what is up? My name is Callum from Tech Labs and welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be talking about the Intel 1151 lineup and the AM4 lineup and what I think is currently the best upgrade path to get into if you are new to PC gaming. So what does the AM4 socket have to offer? Well to start off, the AM4 socket has to offer the Athlon X4 950 which doesn't have any integrated graphics and the A10 9700 which is just the Athlon X4 950 with just integrated graphics on it but do be aware if you do want to get an A10 or an APU of any kind the APU is very 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 liking to high RAM speeds so your performance will vary upon which speed of RAM you do get so do check the motherboard for the highest speed RAM you can get and obviously make your pick from there. So on the Intel flip side of things, on the 1151 socket, what do they have to offer? Well, they have the Celerons and the Pentiums. The Celeron and the Pentiums are honestly the bog standards in which you're going to find... I wouldn't even recommend the Celerons, to be honest. The G4 560 for, obviously, if you want to get into it, because they're even though it's dual core, uh, it doesn't run you back that much, and it's got performance variable to AMD's Athlon X4950. But it does not offer an upgrade path into Coffee Lake. You would need to change your board's chipset to the next generation up, which is the downfall. Now, price and range with the Athlon and the Celeron and the Pentium. The Athlon, the Celeron and the Pentium all fall under the same bracket of around about 30 to maybe about 90. So that's probably, I'm British, so that'd be 30 pounds to 90 pounds. So... It, prices may vary depending on where you are in the world um, so that's honestly where you would start off with but like I said if you want to stay with KB Lake that's where you're going to be stuck with you're going to be stuck with KB Lake you cannot upgrade to Coffee Lake which offers on the next tier up which I'll get into in a second they offer a extra two cores per step up you go so what would I recommend for getting into PC gaming? I honestly would recommend AM4 just for the due fact that AMD are supporting AM4 all the way up until 2020 where they may be releasing a new sort of socket. But that being said, what about the Pentium? The Pentium does beat out the Athlon X4. I would still choose AM4 over Intel just for the due fact of that if you grab a B350 board and an Athlon, you have an upgrade path to Ryzen 3, Ryzen 5, both the 4-core and the 6-core variants and Ryzen 7. Whereas if you were to get a KB Lake, say a Pentium G450, G4, G4560, you would not be able to upgrade to say an i3-8100. You would need to change a board completely and those boards are very expensive. And do keep in mind that you can overclock any CPU on the AM4 platform. Any CPU, as long as the board supports it, you can up, uh, you can overclock any CPU. So that's what I would say. But do keep in mind, say you want an i7, but you don't want to overclock, or you don't want the the name of an i7 in your system. You want it to sound more like a Xeon. Xeons are in the KB Lake series. KB Lake does have Xeons. Coffee Lake does not have Xeons, unfortunately, there would be some very powerful, powerful CPUs. But they do have Xeons in KB Lake, and they are very powerful. It brings me back to Haswell, when people would get Xeons over i7s. But do keep in mind, if you do want to go for a Xeon E3 for KB Lake, not all Xeon E3s in KB Lake have simultaneous multi-threading. It's only the higher up there ones. So do keep that in mind. So do you have a different opinion to what I have said? If so, leave it in the comment section down below. I will reply to every single comment on this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more videos from me on Tech Labs. Hope you guys have a good day. I'll see you in the future. Peace.